All right, let's start in down dog, my friends. Come on around. Hi, Lulu. You're going to harass me right from the get out, huh? Sure. All right, in down dog, root down. We have a core focused flow today. So we're really going to emphasize how our core moves us through our practice, how our breath and our core are related. So as you're here in down dog, nice full breaths in. On the exhale, light contraction in your center to really get the rest of the breath out. Take a few more breaths here. Inhale, glide forward to plank. Right knee comes to your right elbow. Stay here and breathe. Inhale, three-legged dog. Twist, opening up if it feels good. Get a nice back bend here if that's okay on your body. And then bring your, re your right knee right back to your right elbow. Do that again. Inhale, open, lift the leg. Exhale, contract, draw in. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Place your right foot forward. Back knee down. Anjaneyasana, rise up. One more inhale. Exhale, tuck your back toes. Inhale, rise up crescent. Breath in. Exhale, tip forward and then pull your arms back. Lift your left knee up. You're going to reach the arms forward, arrive back and crescent. Exhale, reach, pull, 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 draw up and then take it back. Again reach pull up this time stay here take the arms back up cross left over right maybe wrap it's early on so if that feels like too much to get full eagle legs just don't do it and right arm on top of left arm breath in expand a little exhale gently contract inhale expand exhale contract inhale and exhale unravel inhale reach to the sky exhale bow forward halfway up inhale plank exhale inhale and plank so much control Keep pulling the ribs away from the floor, belly up, lower to your belly. Sphinx, slide your elbows forward, press the tops of your feet down, broaden your chest. Tuck your toes and lift forearm plank. Start to lift your hips, walk your feet in toward your elbows, any amount, let it be easy. Dolphin, if you can, keep your hands separated. We won't be here for too long. Inhale, gaze comes forward. Exhale, knees bend. Inhale, lift up to plank. Down dog, exhale. Just take the hips up and back. Drop the heels toward the floor. Reconnect to breath. Inhale, glide forward, plank. Left knee to left elbow. Enjoy a few breaths here. Lift that left foot up. Three-legged dog twist, so take that left leg back. Allow a nice little back bend. And exhale, elbow with the knee. Inhale it back, open. 
exhale contract draw in one more time inhale exhale step your left foot forward right knee down Anjaneyasana rise up really good tuck your back toes rise up crescent reach forward pull your right knee up take it back crescent exhale tip pull lift take it back again forward let's go one more time draw forward this time the leg is going to stay up the knee and cross wrap if you want left arm on top right arm under or any variation on that yep inhale expand exhale contract inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale unravel reach up to the sky exhale bow forward inhale halfway plank exhale inhale lower with control strong 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 to your belly sphinx again inhale tuck your toes exhale lift up forearm plank Start to lift the hips, walk the feet in toward the elbows, any amount, doesn't have to be super far. Push the floor away with your forearms, hips rise. Bend both knees, look at your hands, separate them if they came together, lift up to plank this time, chaturanga if it feels good. Rise up and open. Inhale. Your back bend. Down dog. Exhale. Smooth, steady breath. Inhale to your toes. Exhale, bend your knees, all of your breath out, and then feet to hands. Halfway, inhale. Bow, exhale. Rise, inhale. Hands to heart, exhale. Beautiful. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Chaturanga or plank lowering. Exhale. Inhale, lift into a back bend that you like and enjoy. Down dog, exhale. Lift your heels, inhale. Bend your knees, exhale. All your breath out, feet to your hands. Halfway, inhale. Fold deeply, exhale. Rise, inhale. So our breath really feeds our center. Exhale. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bow. Empty the breath as much as you can. Feel that contraction in the belly when you do. Inhale, lengthen your spine. We're going to use the exhale for the transition to Chaturanga. So start the exhale, arrive. At the end of the exhale, you've got that nice strength. Inhale, open up. And down dog, exhale.
inhale heels high bend your knees as you exhale at the end of the exhale feet to hands halfway inhale fold exhale bend your knees sit down Navasana now if you have a block you're gonna have it handy and if you have a foam block you're gonna put it on your shins if you have a cork or a wood one it might be a little too heavy but you can decide that good try to keep those shins where they are roll down and then extend the legs out slowly bend the knees in and then the block is going to come between your inner thighs it can be in the narrow or the middle whatever feels better to you hands are going to come behind your head shoulders are going to stay up stay here breathe now you've got enough squeeze in the block that you are like fully aware of that you're squeezing it breath in exhale feet toward the floor toes toward the floor inhale back up Exhale, control it down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Keep going like that. We're just a few more here. Really well done. Good, hold it up, bring your shoulders down, take the block out, pause. Very, very nice. And of the block lengthwise um, with the flattest, the widest part facing you. So not narrow, but wide. Elbow, elbow, hold and breathe. So your knees are pressing into the block, your elbows are pressing into the block. One more inhale. And release the head. Take your hands to the block, so good. We're gonna take the block over to your right knee, right elbow. You're gonna support here. Left arm, left leg extend, and then draw in. Your right side is just holding, 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 holding. Coordinate your breath. So I got a little lazy there with my connection on the right side and my block shifted. So be aware of what that side is doing that's not moving. One more. Hold it in, take the block. Switch sides, hold, hold, hold. Right into the second side. Playhouse, put my favorite record on. Get down, get your crystal method on your laptop tan. Driving around the city, flirting with the girls like you're so pretty. Springsteen is the king, don't you think? I was like, hell yeah, that guy can sing. Like, ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. One more. You made me crazy. Yes. Me Release, put the block down. 
nicely done. Just give yourself a little squeeze. Back up, through, down dog. Inhale, right leg back. Right knee, right elbow. Inhale, lift the knee higher. Exhale, control the knee to the wrist. Inhale, lift the tricep. Exhale, control it down. Lift it up. Control it down. Stretch up and back. Right knee, left elbow. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale it down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale, lift. Exhale down. Three legged dog. Inhale. Exhale, step the right foot forward. Stay high in the back toes. Take your left arm outside your right thigh and then just sneak right into a twist. So good. Yeah, use your back toes as a means to extend the spine more, to open up the chest. And then your breath and the musculature of your center take you deeper into this twist. The arms are just there to support. They're not taking you into the twist. Beautiful. Last in hand. Exhale, release your hands down, straighten your front leg. Soften the front knee, inhale, rise up, crescent. Exhale, reach forward, pull the back knee up. Again, into eagle, cross left over right, and then right arm on top. Inhale, expand. Exhale, contract. Inhale, expand. Exhale, contract. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Opening half moon. Right hand blocker floor. Left hand to the sky. Maybe the right hand floats. Reverse warrior, take it up and back. Breath in, sink a little deeper. Exhale, bring the hands around. Vashisthasana, left hand, left foot or knee. Maybe this right leg lifts. So good. Inhale, come through center, chaturanga or the floor. Inhale, your back bend. Down dog, exhale. Pause, breathe, feel what you feel. Really nice work. Inhale, left leg back. Left knee, left elbow, exhale. Inhale, lift the knee higher. Exhale, control it down. Inhale, lift, control it down. Inhale, lift, control down. Inhale, lift, control down. Three legged dog, inhale. Cross over, lift higher and down inhale exhale inhale exhale down inhale three-legged dog exhale left foot forward right arm outside your left thigh gently twist feel the end 
of every breath. Allow yourself some emptiness, a little contraction to turn you more, not the arms, your center, your breath. Last inhale. Release your hands down, straighten the front leg any amount. Bend the front knee, inhale crescent. Tip forward, pull, bring that back leg up. Cross or wrap. Left arm, a little close to the wall. <laughs> Left arm on top, right arm under. Inhale, exhale, contract. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, unravel your version, half moon. <laughs> so good, yes. Bend your standing leg. Reverse warrior. Really nice. Last inhale. Hands come around. Right hand. Right foot. Vashistasana. Any version. Come through center. Chaturanga. Rise. Down dog. Couple options here. You have five breaths approximately in down dog, maybe more like 10 if I'm going to be totally honest. Child's pose if you need it. If you want a little more activity, we're going to work on piking up. So you'll lift your heels, you'll bend your knees, you look toward your hands, and then hips come up. Sometimes you go a little further than the pike. That's cool if you're comfortable in handstand. Of course you can go up. And then everyone, knees down. So good. Breathe. Rise up to your knees. Hands at your heart. There's a little bit of a connection in the front of your body abdominally. So you're not going into a back bend initially. Use your feet, push them down. Lean back. It's almost like you've got a little crunch going on here. Nice and strong in your center. Glutes supporting you, abs supporting you. And then push into your feet, lift your heart up. And then rise up. Little pause, sit back. Breathe. We're going to do that again. Inhale, rise up. Almost like there's a little mini crunch in the front of your body. Lean back. Let your feet catch you. Stay here or use the glutes a little more. Start from there and then lift the heart.
rise up and sit back pause one more if it's okay rise up inhale exhale root down feet find your center lean back stay there or inhale lift the heart rise up child's pose well done rock a little side to side come up onto your hands and knees and come into cat's pose and just reverse that Neutralize your spine, cross your ankles, and then sit back. Really good. Okay, we're just going to finish sitting. And if you have a block, I'm always a fan of sitting on a block. It just makes it easier for me. But you might be really good at sitting flat on the floor, not like me. All right, hands on your thighs. Spine long, sit tall. As you inhale, feel your torso move in all directions. So 360 degrees, not just the front, like not just the belly, not just the chest, not just the side ribs, but the back ribs. The whole torso expands and then exhale, gently draw in. Little pause at the end of the exhale. Inhale, expand. Exhale, contract. One more active breath. Fully exhale. And now just allow the breath to come in and out. You don't need to activate your core. You don't need to be a participant as far as making the breath bigger or fully emptying. Just allow it to do what it does when you're not focused on it. Notice how you feel, your body, your breath, if there's any thoughts that are coming in. When you're ready, bring your hands into your heart in prayer. Bow your mind to your heart. Rise, eyes open. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Lulu came at the end and we're all done, Lulu. She saw her opportunity to snuggle in. And I'm such a sucker, I could stay here. But I gotta do something, Lou. I gotta get my day going even more. <laughs>